Like, Bob does make up for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give his space station free chance. Oh! Oh! He's just an astronaut playing volleyball on the moon! I called him. Oh my goodness! I called him out. I wanted him to step up, and what does he do? He goes from the ceiling down. Not only there to make the stop, Arsenal can't find the follow through, and Genji able to at least stop the bleeding for just a moment, but they're not out of the woods yet. Oh man, look at this pressure from Space Station Gaming. They had that good uh, back post shot, but they didn't let up and kept this ball in the opposition's half. LJ crashes through off the backboard, a demo as well. They will distribute a 4-1 back yep. the other way. They've definitely found their groove. Uh, pretty much, I'd say, mistake-free oh. gameplay out of Genji on the defense. This was beauty from Hoxer. 14 seconds remaining. We've seen crazier things before, but with Genji's defense right now, I don't think they're going to let up. Stepping up in this game one, they had to wait a little bit to play, but you can tell they've kept the momentum from their last series. SSG will get one here to go into game number two, but this one is all furious. If nothing else. Proving to everyone else that the decisions you've made over the course of the season have been right. LJ gets a lane. Going to carry this one. Can Lost get a save? No. LJ starts it off with Space Station Gaming. They're up by one. That is great vision from Hawkshire to thread that needle to LJ. And an even better first touch there against the oncoming challenge. The opener was not pretty on the orange side. Hawkshire trying to drop oh, one down. That there last touch will set it up for Arsenal. And that's how SSG gets its first lead. Love this here from Hawks. There's that second touch. Got everyone from Furia it, with a question marks over their head. Is ha having Furia hesitate when he's on the ball now. Can he set that up? Oh my goodness, Hawkser! You are amazing! Phenomenal solo play in front. He's three for three in game three. It feels like Furia can't stop him. <laughs> And maybe another bout of ping pong here, but the Hawks are quick pass down to LJ, and he'll slot it home top left. Oh, look at the pass. Somebody was going to make room, use of all the space. Hawks are down to LJ, LJ to the top left. We've been talking about bouncers all day long. That's exactly what Lost did there. What a save. But now here goes LJ. LJ. Look at it. Get it. Oh, he got Lost out of the way, and LJ adds another to the tally. Look at this from LJ, so much control when he had initial contact, he had 40 boosts. When he went for the bump, he had like 16. It is made, but Beast Mode is there to cap it off with a save. LJ faking to go for that shot. There it's it a is. brilliant idea, because Hoxer is waiting on the floor and can tap it bottom right. Yeah, I think that last one, that, that quote unquote shot from Arsenal, I think he was looking for Hoxer on a pass. Is the leading assist per game leader in the Spring Cup LJ. is Filthy, and that shot oh. Filthy as LJ gets the double and the dunk through Daniel. Daniel got in a good position for it, but LJ was just taller on this play. Goes up above him, double taps off the backboard. Big question is, can they hold on? They've shown flashes of brilliance on the defensive half, but there's another one, LJ to Hoxer, Hoxer to net, and it's good. LJ to go to the ceiling as well, keeps onto that flip and can then wonderfully wrap himself around it. All on defense, they've not done a great job. It's a fumble, but they have got the result that they wanted. But carrying the ball into the center. Arsenal on target though. And I believe a bump on the right side does leave it open for SSG to capitalize. Yeah, it was a nice bump from LJ on the goal line to just leave this wide open from Arsenal. He, all he had to do was get around missed. And it's not very often that you see him going for a challenge and completely missing. Much easier said than done is Arsenal going to slow this one down. No boost to work with. Gets the demo and great dump off pass. Him and LJ on the same page. In 20 seconds of this game, it's yet another team up goal. Arsenal with an air dribble down for that demo. Too high, but I'd like the attempt to carve through the left. 
They had everything, and they're going to get scored on back the other way. Arsenal, oh, he missed as well, and he will connect <laughs> off the double tap. He will adjust and put that one away, but oh, Gen G, it goes from bad to worse. Triple commit in the net. Nobody makes contact. Can't make the save. Yeah, apparently, Jack, he kind of thought about it and decided, you know what, now's not the time. Let that one go, and it actually worked out quite nicely. They did regain possession for a moment. Unfortunately, they can't make the touch back the other way. <laughs> They make such a disciplined decision to leave a challenge, and then, unfortunately, two people completely miss. Apparently, Jack gets put in a bad spot. He's overwhelmed, goes back to the net, saves it. Genji's defense has been really good so far as Arsenal tucks it in. Oh, no, it's Hawkster that gets all the credit. Either way, SSG connecting so well. Man, that was so smooth from Hawkster. I mean, he just... Now it's LJ forced to make a save. Hawkster with the clear that goes to Arsenal. Chronic nice. tries to leave it. It is so <laughs> fake. He doesn't even connect with it. Hawkster gets credit. That's the type of play you love to see Arsenal make. Gets that boost pad in the midfield. Has 100. And look at him just show everything to Chronic. <laughs> Says, look, we're going off the ceiling. Look, we're going towards the net. Look, I'm actually not going to touch the ball at all. It's Genji. Close that right post very well, but it's LJ there and Arsenal Ooh. with the demo and the net is open. That is what Arsenal is also good at. You forget he was on one of the most demo heavy teams sometimes, but he still got it and LJ absolutely crushing. Lights out and then how does Magic Bear come in and make a difference? I think that might be the saving grace for Optic. And you need to include Magic Bear more because you can't keep leaving him alone. How many times is Magic by himself third man back, has to make a play, and can't come up with it. Oh, LJ, he just left it on the reset, too. Magic Bear tried to find the read. That one away. For Optic, though, great chance to hold this lead. Get into this series. AJ missed the ball! Uh, how can you expect to save a laser on the backboard? LJ ties it up. I mean, just look at the positioning. This is all three players out of Space Station Gaming so confident and close together. They know for a fact they don't have to rotate back or space out. Another shot somehow. Space Station are coming away with shots, oh. and Arsenal just slotted it! Oh my god, get out your protractor to figure that angle out! I mean, the ice in the veins to hit this shot is ridiculous. Oh. So many different... It's impossible for them right now. I mean, that touch from Rettles is just delaying. Hawks oh, 50, back to Arsenal, chipped up Rettles, oh. and that was enough! Arsenal with a Giga Brain move against the Optic defense, and Hawkster splits them again. I don't even think Optimus Prime is enough to stop this SSG offense. I'm not gonna lie to you, that is ridiculous stuff. But still, Space Station, they have control of the thirds. LJ, control of the ball! LJ, control of the green wall! Space Station have taken flight through the atmosphere to top three! How many times? Worst time for Optic. AJ paid it clear. There's a double tap from Arsenal. And Space Station blast off. They're going to the grand finals. And they clinched that number one seed in NA. It'd be cool to have like a plow in the game. Okay. Probably okay. a friend of hip hop. New right? idea. Arsenal. New idea. Look at him go. He's just a plow, bro. He's a one man <laughs> army going down the corner. It doesn't matter how many guys you stack against him. All three Furia cars are there, but they what? can't stop him. What is that movement behind the ball, too? First, he got the wave dash on the left side. Two six times. You know, there's, you got to win in at least one. Oh, and LJ, that's a big what? time response. Man, how does that work? That's a crazy challenge from Hoxer and LJ just... Uh, Space Station Gaming, not the type to take a, a 4 0 laying down. They're going to throw everything they got at you, and it's going to come in the form of an air dribble bump. LJ says goodbye, and give me the goal. We saw a flip reset double tap from LJ. Now we see a flip reset demo. The kick off and hard recovering enough, but they're not done yet. Oh my goodness, LJ with a banger out of the corner. Oh, LJ is hitting world-class shots Ooh. in this series. <laughs> Using the underside of his car for a low altitude, high speed double tap off the corner. It's been back and forth between the last, I'd say 60 seconds. Oh. That's a quick oh. shot on target, LJ, from behind the ball. Bro, that is a disgusting angle, LJ. Oh. Uh, come on, Hoxter just sets that up and LJ's like, yeah, easy read. That's unfair, that's unfair. <laughs> Bump does make up for it. Wouldn't I wouldn't give Space Station free chances? Oh! 
Oh, 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 I called him out. Oh my goodness! I called him out. I wanted him to step up. And what does he do? He goes from the ceiling down and gets the pre jump shot. You can't get any better than that, LJ. Two goals for Space Station Gaming. They're only within one. LJ up there looking like a UFO. Oh, Fury were like, goodness. what the heck is that? Why is he there? 